Good East Position of the Summer, everybody. The name is Blue Thing, and welcome back to another episode of the Big Blue Adventure. Uh, yeah, we're just loading up the world right now. Uh, last time, we kind of dug out a cave, and I said that we needed to start working on the surface and getting our stuff, supplies, and revenue up there before we started with that. But, uh, changed up my skin a bit. Added some buttons and made the tie, I think, a little better. But yeah, it's supposed to be a tuxedo. I think this is all, all for the better. So, anyways, let's put the chest plate back on and uh, just get to work. I'm really looking out for some iron this time. Wanna make, I want to preferably make a bucket and a pick. Get enough for a bucket and a pickaxe. I think I can work with a stone sword for now. But I want to have enough for a farm. For a self-sustaining... For a self-sustainable farm. For a farm that is relatively self-sustainable. So that's the goal of today's episode. Get our hands on more iron. And, uh, you know, also don't die. Speaking of more iron, here it is. A singular piece. Not exactly gonna worry about zombies when they can't get me. Yeah, I ought to stick to the high ground more often. Uh, let's see, keep an exploring. I I got off of watching some Luke the Notable, so that's pro um, that's why I'm in such a Minecraft mood right now. I know this ain't a hardcore world, but I kind of do want to keep this series going for as long as my channel goes. Like, you know, always just as a, something that runs in the background, although I guess it's taking up more of the foreground. Uh, thanks for break starting for me soon, so I might be able to get more content out over the week. Uh, I don't know. I know that there's probably going to... I'm probably going to make sure that Sario appears in something. Uh, maybe we'll actually be able to record a... I'll probably, I'm probably going to have him help me with editing videos. With editing some form of video. Glowberry. This is a lush cave. The more and more we delve into this cave, the more and more we realize we are and aren't lucky and how much potential we have. Like, two Endermen are already there. Okay. Oh, hey, look, more iron. I could always... Oh, yeah. I could uh, always use some more. Is this an eight vein? We have ten pieces of raw iron. All right. I'm going to head back up to the surface there. This is enough. I have enough to make a bucket so we can start growing some farmland. If we start growing farmland, we can start making meat production. And I also believe that outside of that, we can also add enough for some pants. So, you know, we're fortifying ourselves to make it better for the road ahead. Probably not whistle because it doesn't really come out in the mic. Uh, let's see. Here. Nope. Nope. Here. When did I get a fish? Hey, anyways, we got some more of this. Uh, let's see. I think for right now I'm going to begin with some deforestation just so that way we can make sure that overworld spawns are down to a minimum two. We also have a lot of birch wood to work with so who knows maybe 
I also want to kind of like put something up in the overworld as much as I want to make the cave a permanent base. I know that's probably not happening. And who knows, maybe it might. I have a lot of plans for this world that as an amateur Minecraft player, I'm not going to be able to do. Like, I want to put an enemy compendium down here. Like, trap an enemy of everything in the cave. Trap, like, one of everything in the cave. But for right now, I think I'll be happy with just, uh, not dying every episode. I don't know. We somehow managed to do that the first episode. And then as soon as we got the bed... We were cursed to die. I think something I definitely should do is bridge over. Want to make a relatively big bridge. So that way I can put gates up so I don't die. Even if it is rather awkward. That's something I will say if you're... I... I really feel like, in terms of Minecraft playing, I've just never been good at this game. And I've had the Xbox... And you want to know how old of a Minecraft player I am? I had the Xbox 360 edition. Yeah, that's right. I had the Xbox 360 edition of Minecraft. where we ended up. Also, I really do love the new improved swimming controls because you swim so much faster. That is something I... Something I also do vastly prefer is that, uh, you know... You can actually manage your boot get here. I think we're going to try and make this area like a dock, because as far as I can see, we're at the open ocean. <sighs> if you don't know, I just farted on camera. My poop stank. You may... You may say, uh-oh, stinky, but I say, uh-oh, cringe, and you say, uh-oh, stinky. Chopping down trees with my bare fist. Hoping that that was the last one. There we... Wait, I have a... Ladder up top here. Huh. I, th I think I might just keep it there, honestly.
So we have 11 pieces of iron ingots. So I think right now I can make a bucket. And... Oh yeah, a shield. That would definitely be a good thing to make with the iron that I have. That, for right now, is going in my offhand. Uh... Hmm. And yeah, we'll use the last bit on pants. We also do have an iron pickaxe. Okay, so I guess that's where this is just where I keep my uh, stuff. Definitely feel a lot better about having the important parts of the iron tool set and a shield. Definitely do feel a lot better with having that. And we also do have a port. You know? Kind of seeing this. I don't know what I'm going to do with this cave. On the, on the one hand, I wanted to make, make it the back cave. But on the other hand, I kind of want to make my house over this cave. So I can like always expand it into a tunnel system. But nah, I think I'm gonna... I don't know what I'm gonna do. You see, that's the thing with Minecraft. There's so much possibilities that you don't know what to do. Like, I have this for now, and I never really get past this. I know I'm gonna beat the game. And I know that I love dark oak planks. do down there I want to do stuff down there but at the same time I kind of feel like I shouldn't because I like how I kind of like how this like I kind of kind of like this and I kind of want to like expand this across the cave and make this like a house house of sorts but my house is very bare bones and basic so for now I think I'm going to use the I think I will continue with the original plan of eventually moving my base down here but for now, I gotta light that place up if I want to do that. So let's, uh, get in here. Oh, nope, need you. And start lighting up more of that cave so it becomes easier and easier to traverse. I'm not sure if we're gonna die to creeper strikes. I mean, that does seem to be the majority of my problems. But, you know, getting caught in monster struggle should be a lot easier now that I have some form of defense. And protection. Oh, hey, sweet, there's gold. Maybe I should start bringing in my... Uh... There can clearly be a torch right here. Clearly, I've been here before if I've torched it. And I should probably keep something down here. Deep slate? Down here? zombie footsteps so loud sometimes and then other times it's so quiet 
So much iron I need to start using. I'm taking advantage. Ah! 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 That, that actually caught me off guard. That was like an actual genuine scream of terror. Well, not scream, I guess more of like a yelp. That actually caught me off guard, holy crap. Not this lastly. Again, I need to start... I need to start doing... Stop, stop, like... Being a pooper. I guess that's kind of the reason why I had this series up, so I don't delete this world. Because normally I would have just deleted this world by now if I was going to play again. Just play in a new world. Yeah, I hardly ever make it to the... To dot Because I'm such a bad player, I hardly ever make it to diamonds in these worlds that I do. Or play through. Like, I've never beaten the Ender Dragon. And I'm not saying, like, oh, alone. Like, no. I've just straight up never beaten the Ender Dragon, ever. I'll let you in on a little secret. Sursar has never beaten the Ender Dragon alone, but he has certainly beaten the Ender Dragon. getting a little better at commentary i don't know there's so much to do and like so much that you would think is so e i'm watching youtube since i was a kid i'm generation z even though i really hate my generation and how stupid they can we can be but one thing that i always thought was going to be easy with the commentary but i always did it to myself a number of times and i was like yeah i can do this easy and then here i am like actually starting to attempt something like this and then oh i can't I want to put the bat computer here. Like I like this area in particular. I want to put a bat computer here. I do really like this cave system. Well, I never use this crafting table despite the fact I have it. Well, actually, didn't I say I was going to need to get the surface done too? Remember, even if you even if you have wild plans, just remember the small steps first. All the small things need to be done. Da dun 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 dun. dun. Minecraft 101. Do I have a door? I apparently don't have a door. Didn't want to make a new door, but here we are anyway. For convenience's sake. Why are there doors always in three? Thank goodness doors are now stackable, but... Why are sets of doors always in threes? need the, these three up here. I just need to be smart with how I place my door. Not here. Here. Yeah, there are a lot of doors now that we have. Messing around with the door. 
I haven't had this much fun with Doris since Luigi's Mansion. Gonna add a gate here one day so I don't fall off like an idiot. I think I'm gonna have something to do with the Bat Cave. First, I need to direct to down well actually the very first thing i need to do is get some get a consistent supply of food that should be like step numero uno sleeping through the night so less mobs spawn numero uno priority pratorio step 1 build a hoe Remember the second rule of Minecraft. Don't ever waste your diamonds on a hoe. That fish's name is not Nemo. It is Charlie. And I will eventually get a name tag for it. I also desperately want to build a storage hall. Actually, no, I'm going to need this bucket. And I'm going to keep a torch. Keep these seeds. Keep this. I'm going to keep all these because I fear I could theoretically use them if I find anything that I want to have. Purple toe. So let's see. There's my last of the cooked pork chops. Um, okay, so... Oh, yeah, right. Seeds. Seed. Seed, Blue. Get the seeds, Blue Fang. Seeds. Okay. I have a singular seed. Thank you. So we drop the fish. Oh wait, there were axolotls down in that lush cave. And I have a bucket. Uh I guess I can go trap one now. Just to give the video some purpose. <laughs> I'm going to base the entire video title around a catching an axolotl, and then people are going to realize I'm not even that big a fan of axolotls to begin with. <laughs> oh, the places I'll go. Owie. Wowie owie. Like, Cyclops, you're not ready to contest with me, man. My name's Shaggy, dude. I'm Shaggy, man. You're not ready to contest with me, dude. I know that I saw Axolotls down here last time. I know it. Don't pull the wool over my eyes, game. Actually, I... There it is! Uh, ah!
There it is. Bucket of axolotl, baby! Got it. I guess that's another thing we can do in this world to keep it going and try and getting is trying to get all the advancements. <laughs> it would be funny if you had to if it was a predator swimming around in a. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a very simple humble farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Gonna make him Axel, keeper of the farm. Hello, Axel, keeper of the farm. I'm gonna chill. <sighs> I'm gonna kill a chicken right now. I'm also gonna rewatch this video's recording, and I think we're going on a half hour, so I'm gonna kill a chicken, cook it, eat it, heal up, and you know what? Axel, protector of the farm. I hope that you end up living well. And who knows, maybe we'll give you some other Axolotl buddies, but for now, your name is Axel. Like the Kingdom Hearts character. Oh, excuse me. B is his name is. We're also going to give ourselves some boots because I like having a golden helmet. <laughs> Alright! We're almost an Iron Man. How do we. Yeah, advancements list. CD plays, watch it grow. Best friends forever, tame an animal. Oh, yeah, I don't want a complete catalog. Ew. Bucket, bucket. Add a tab full to a bucket. Alright. Catch a fish without a fishing rod. Wait a minute. I can do that one right now. So anyways, we'll heal up so that way I'm not completely screwed next time we play this world.
Iye iye. Iye iye. Anyways, uh, yeah. I think that's gonna do it. So next time on the Big Blue Adventure, we will be hopefully making a little more of an advancement around the place. Maybe expanding our safe zone and getting our farm up to code. But until that time happens, please remember that my name is Blue Fang, and I bid you all a good west positioning the summer, buddy. See you guys then.